Hello and welcome to another food adventure. Today is not a Chinese food adventure. We're actually trying some food from a different country. And it's a country that I've only been to once, but the country as well as this food had a really, really strong impression on me. And that is of course, Singapore. Um, I loved Singapore so much. I love the people, I love the culture. The food was just like, oh my God, amazing. And one of my absolute favorite foods I tried in Singapore was of course, the Singapore chili crab. It's like one of the, official national dishes of Singapore and there is actually a Singapore chili crab restaurant here in Sydney. So we are on our way there right now to try some Singapore chili crab. Um, Mum and Dad, you have tried this dish before, right? Yeah, we did. We tried it in Singapore. It was amazing. It was such a feast. Um, really memorable. Loved it. I'm so excited about going today. I'm really excited too. Can't wait. We have all only ever had this dish once. I've only ever had it once. So we are in by no means experts in this dish. Um, so I think our taste buds are just gonna lead the way today. Just gonna try it, see how we like it, and just have a fun night out together. I even curled my hair for tonight. Whoa, whoa. I put in considerable effort for our adventure tonight. <laughs> fancy, fancy, even got a coat on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Lovely view. Nice commute, huh? Well, we're, we're stuck in traffic, but it is a beautiful view. Sydney is such a beautiful city. Like, check that out. Look at what we're about to drive over. Welcome to Amy's tour of Sydney. Up ahead, you will find the Sydney Harbour Bridge in all its glory, the 6 p.m. sun. Ah, oh, fun fact, oh you can actually climb it. On your left here, you will be able maybe to see the uh, Sydney Opera House, or maybe not. Oh, just through the fence. We've just arrived and it's an absolutely stunning location. The restaurant's just there behind me and woo, there's the, the harbour. And from here, you can see Sydney's ugliest building. So who's this guy yes. here? This guy, this guy, this guy's Harry. Yeah. He's the founder of the uh, uh, chili crab business. Yeah. Uh, he established the business uh, back to 82, 1982. In Sydney? In Sydney. And uh, this this one we just new opened, newly yeah. opened and uh, uh, just before COVID. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, very, very good time. The, the crabs we get, all, all the crabs we get from cans. Uh, Kes mac crab is the best. It's actually um, we call golf mac crab from Cook Town Cranba. Uh, so they fly down. Um, we every week we probably buy uh, half ton of crabs, wow. and then we keep the green part, and the rest of them we send to the fish market. I was very curious about the logistics behind all of this because when you go to a restaurant, you don't generally tend to think about all the hard work that goes on behind the scenes to get the food to your plate. So Andy actually let me come along one day to see how it all works. So I'm here at Australia's domestic airport. It's been a long time since I've been at an airport, not gonna lie. And Andy's actually taking me here to come pick up some crabs. Um, so I'm gonna see how they actually pick up the crabs, how they're delivered, how he grades them. Where are these crabs from? They're from Cairns. Cairns. Uh, we've completed pickup. What's the next step? Next step, we're heading back to the restaurant. Yeah. And then we check the weight and also the, um, uh, the quality of the crab. So we have just arrived at the other location. This is the original location. It's been here for many, many years. And now we are going to unload the truck, get the crabs inside, and then check them out. That looks like a young Andy. They were, they were super regular here. Oh yeah, yeah the Ronikers, yeah. They pretty much come every week. Uh, Daniel Jules, is it Daniel From Oh yeah, Canada, yeah. Uh, Lawrence Fishburn, and uh, Matrix guy. Yeah. Crab only lasts a, a few days. Oh, okay. Um, the longer you keep, the, the lighter they go. Okay. So they lose the meat, not as long. The longer you drink tank, the mouth, you take it out. The weight sometimes increases because of the salt, but yeah. 
just a few days. And I learned that when it comes to crab, weight is very important because the more it weighs, the more meat it contains and therefore the better the quality. From the color, we can tell, you know, where the crab's from yeah. and also uh, the quality of the crab. Especially when you put, your, uh, put the crab in your hand, if the weight is much the size, that means it's good quality. So Andy has many, many years of experience doing this and he has an inbuilt weight, an inbuilt scale. He can hold a crab and know exactly how much it weighs. It's very impressive. <laughs> This is about 1, 1.1. 1 .1. When we sell the crab, the crab will come Why one claw is big and the other claw is small? Because they had a fight and then they lost one claw. And the, the smaller claw is actually withdrawn. They all are um, uh, wild, wild, harvest, wild, wild catch. So it's very, very hard to make all the crabs are perfect. Yeah. But it's, for us, you know, it's, it's our job to, to make customer happy. And how often a week would you do this? Uh, two, two to three times. Wow. Alright, thank you for coming, alright? Thanks for showing me! <laughs> Why is this dish so famous? Like, um, Look, Singapore chili mac crab is like uh, Singapore sling. Yeah. Yeah. It's like world famous. When you, when you get on the flight, the, <laughs> you can order a Singapore sling, like Singapore Airlines, right? Yeah. We even have a Singapore chili crab festival in Singapore. Oh my gosh! Yes, yes, yes. But you know what? For local people, mainly for black peppers. Yeah. So, chili and black pepper. Chili is more for tourists. It's got a big name. Oh. And also the taste is more for Oh, okay, so black the, pepper, yep. mud crab. Yes, for the chili crab, we steam the crab first and then we fry with our sauce. Uh, for the black pepper, it's more popular in Singapore. Black pepper, white pepper is more popular in Singapore for Singapore, local Singapore, Singaporean. Oh wow! Yeah. Which and, one do you make? Uh, both. both. Today, I'll give you a trip to oh, crab that'd be great. Oh, okay. Crab <laughs> first impressions, I was really interested to hear that chili crab isn't necessarily the most eaten crab in Singapore, this black pepper crab that yeah. I've never heard of before. Have you guys heard of that? No. I've heard of it, but I uh, didn't actually think of it as Singapore. You know, yeah. Pepper is one of my favourite spices, like so oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm really, really keen to try it. Oh, look, look what's coming, look what's coming, look what's coming. Oh, oh look at this. Singapore sling. Such a cool sling. Oh my gosh. This is so oh, exciting. Thank you. Oh, wow. a Singapore sling Singapore for you and me. Sling. I'm only having a sip wow. since I'm actually driving tonight, but... In Australia, you are allowed to drive after having a little bit of alcohol, so don't come at me in the comments. I'm gonna drink it, don't worry. That'll drink it for me. Ooh, this is actually my first ever Singapore sleep. It's, it's like cherry. What, what's that flavor? Delicious. It's cherry. I love this. It's lovely. Well, I, feel, I feel like I'm on holidays, to be honest. It's a very holiday. Thing. I can see the ocean, I'm drinking a cocktail. Then it was time to put on these sexy bibs and prepare ourselves for an epic crab banquet. But first, appetizers. And honestly, I cannot speak more highly of the appetizers here. We had crispy salt and pepper squid absolutely bursting with that garlicky salt and peppery flavor. We had garlic butter prawns that were just so juicy. Just shucked oysters with ginger and chili, as well as scallops. I can't remember the last time I had scallops, but we had scallops and they had vermicelli noodles with exo sauce, and it was all just so, so fabulous. I know we've got something wonderful coming yeah. with the crab. Yeah. But the entrees are so good. You can't, I can't stop. I'm not going to stop eating. These, these prawns are fantastic. Oh, what, you, what was that move? <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Wow, we really demolished those appetizers, but we needed to prepare ourselves because it was almost time for the main event. Bring on the crab. Oh my goodness, so our first crab dish has arrived. This one here is the black pepper crab and I can definitely smell, smell that pepper. I can smell that pepper. And then out came its brother from another mother, the famous Singapore chili crab. Feast your eyes on this, guys, and try not to drool too much. So, Dad, could you showcase our black pepper crab? Yeah. And this is our Singapore chili crab. Mm. Which is better? Which is better? We will see. We'll we will see. see. Okay, now is the actual challenge because I have to admit, I don't actually even know how to open crab. So... Do we use our little plate or do we use our big plate? I'm not the one to ask. We have this. I, I don't know what this one does. That goes down to the little shoots. It's the stuff out of yeah, it. It's oh, stuff okay. Out. Yeah, yeah. So Andy has also given us some fried mantle and he said that it's what you use to mop up all the sauce. 
mantou. Yep. So fried Singapore style. Because if you eat crab, you can pull it. So it costs a lot of money. So you need this to figure it out. So I'm very excited to Yum. give this whole combo a go. I think we start with the chili crab because that's so. the traditional one. Traditional. And then we can go to the one that the okay. locals prefer. So mom, dad, please help yourself to a bit of crab. Juicy. And don't forget a mantel. Well, what about this? You've got to get some of this. We need the sauce. No, wait for the sauce. <laughs> Basically, break through the. It's messy. Oh, I popped it Oh, look, I did it. See? And then you, oh, you did it very oh. well. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's all me. Oh my god. Oh, oh. you got the good uh, The sauce. But something called chili crab. It's not really too spicy. More sweet than anything. But look at this chunk of meat I have just uncovered. Oh, so this crab flesh is absolutely delectable. It's so soft, almost fluffy, and, and quite sweet as well. There's no nice way to eat this. Huh? <laughs> you just gotta get stuck in and crunch. I honestly couldn't tell you the last time I had crab. I think you guys have already probably worked out this isn't something I do very often. So now I am trying um, a bit of my fried mantel with some of the sauce. Mm. Oh, wow. I love this mantel so much. It's so fluffy on the inside and like crunchy and crispy on the outside. And that sauce is just to die for. Is that my taste buds are really responding in a, in a positive way to this here? Mm. Bit of hard work, isn't it? It's though? a bit of hard work. It's a bit of um, my it. fan. Yes, my fan. I got it. Yes, I got it. Yes. So proud of you. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I am pretty curious at this stage to try some of that black pepper crab mm -hmm. and to see how it compares to the um, chili crab one. Um, very interested to hear that this one is the one that locals in Singapore prefer. If you are watching this from Singapore, can you please shed some light on this situation? Like, what are your thoughts on this? Do you prefer the black pepper crab? Do you prefer the chili crab? Let me know in the comments below, please, and thank you. You go, Farsha. Mm, thank you. And Mama, a claw for you. Oh, thank you. <gasps> Yum! I'm bringing out the big tool. So these ones here, are there like, um, is there meat in the legs? Like, yeah, is that worth the effort? It's worth the effort. Yeah, so, just there. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. Oh, the flavor. I just licked my fingers. that very sweet flesh and that very peppery salty sauce that's that's hotter it's spicier. It's spicier, yeah. ironically enough mm. black pepper crab is spicier than mm. the chili crab so is it too early to ask you guys which one you prefer black pepper you prefer the black pepper one i think so what about you Love the black pepper. Yeah. I would say that the sauce of that really oh. caught my attention. This black pepper crab really hits you in the face in a good way. But I'm really enjoying dipping this manto into the chili crab. For me, that's almost, I don't know if this is going to be a bit controversial. Dipping the manto into the sauce is almost better than the crab itself. Wow, like, that is a big one. Well, the thing is, you don't have to crack nothing. You just get it right in there and you've just got this juicy bread meat. That is really, really nice. That is slapping in my face nice. Yeah. And its flavour says smack and smack, <laughs> whack bang. Yeah. Where it, and this one is sweeter. Yeah. And probably more delicate. Um, so I can see why. Yeah. That's tourists mm -hmm. and that's locals. Yeah. That's a crowd pleaser. Yeah. Crowd yeah. Pleaser. That is a crowd pleaser for sure. This one you can understand that maybe if you're not into that kind of whack bang flavour. That might not be for everybody. You've got to be into either into pepper or, or spice. Mm -hmm. 
very interesting situation. I came in here expecting one thing and I think I'm gonna leave here thinking something completely different. I came here thinking, okay, we're gonna have Singapore chili crab, but actually for me, the star of the show has been this black pepper crab. I did not expect for that. But not to say that I don't like the chili crab. The chili crab is freaking delicious. It's that sweet, salty flavor that I could just sit down and eat that whole bowl by myself. But in terms of flavor that just hits you in the face, you can't go past this black pepper crab. I can honestly say, I have not missed meat tonight. This does not make you vegetarian. Okay. Is this I vegetarian? It you. It's not vegetarian. It's not no, called vegetarian? Sorry. Fish are friends, not food. Huh? There is no polite way to do this. No. You just have to look at her plate. Messy. But messy, it's just messy. messy. That's messy. what Andy said. There's no polite way. But they, so satisfying. Like, I love eating food with my fingers. They, yeah. give, they give you a bib for a reason. And just the contrast of like coming here, curling my hair, and putting on some makeup, and wearing a pretty dress, and then it's like, oh, 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 get it in me. This has been, yeah, so great. Um, well, thank you guys so much for putting well, yourselves on the well, line. Well, and, it's a hard Well, it was a hard, hard. It's a hard life. I know. Uh, I don't know. Well, you know. Your country thanks you. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great service to this country and YouTube. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching at home, and we will see you next time. Bye, you. Bye. Bye.